Have you ever looked outside your window and realized that you forgot the full moon was tonight? Well, here I'm going to give you three ways to celebrate the full moon that takes little to no planning. One of the ways that I really enjoy celebrating the full moon is to be able to set out any of my crystals that need to be charged and let them bathe in the moonlight overnight. Usually I will do this in the grass and not on concrete, but we got some snow yesterday and it is very, very wet. So I'm just setting this out right now um, so that it can soak up the moon. It doesn't have to be in the grass, but typically that's what I like to do. That way the soil can also charge and cleanse the crystals. And this is my one of the easiest and one of my favorite ways to celebrate the full moon. And it's something simple. If you don't have a yard that you can set your crystals out, you can always set them in a windowsill inside your home. You can set them on a balcony or a patio. Um, if for some reason you're, you know, you have like a back porch or something like that, you can set them inside of like a flower, flower pot if you've got a plant or something outside. That's something that I like to do as well. So we're gonna let these charge and we will get on to the next way I like to celebrate the full moon. Hi, my name is Shauna and I run a crafting crone on Etsy. If you like witchy videos and witch crafting videos, this may just be the channel for you. If that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So the second way that I like to celebrate the full moon is by making moon water. I just take this jar that I found at the Dollar Tree and I fill it up with water from the faucet. Um, you can use filtered water if you want, spring water, it doesn't really matter. Um, just make sure that it's in a glass clear jar. And then I set this out with my crystals with the lid off to be able to soak up that full moon energy as well. Now, some of the uses that I like to use moon water for is for cleansing my crystals or things that need to be cleansed throughout the month to put in my baths. If I'm having a, if I'm having like a particularly bad day or there's something that I'm struggling with and I need to get rid of it, then I'll use it in my bath water. I've used it in teas, coffees, things like that. Um, it pretty much has a lot of different uses. Sorry, there's cars going by. Um, but it has a lot of different uses and it's really, really great. You don't need a whole lot. Just a few drops normally goes a long way. So this jar is the perfect size to sit out and gather up a little bit of that full moon energy. So the final way that I like to celebrate the full moon is by doing a releasing spell. Now, I like to do something pretty simple. I just take a piece of paper and I write down everything that I need to release in my life. Once I've done that, I normally pick a couple of things or if there's just one large thing, that's fine as well. So for tonight's full moon, I'm going to be releasing all of the bad foods that doesn't make my body strong and healthy. I'm going to be releasing procrastination, which gets me nowhere. And then I'm gonna get rid of a personal one that we're not gonna disclose on camera. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna write this on a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what the paper is. It can be a scrap piece of paper. It doesn't have to be this large. You're going to fold it away from you in half. And then you're gonna want to get a cauldron or a safe place to where you can burn it. And then you're just going to concentrate on the paper and you're gonna concentrate on all of the things that you wanna get rid of and meditate on that for just a moment or two. And then you're going to take a lighter, light it on fire and just place it in your cauldron and let it completely burn up. Let it dissipate and fly off into the cosmos and be rid of it. And as it's burning and as the ash is starting to fly away, and gather at the bottom of your pot. Imagine all of those things that you wanna release from your life that no longer serve you, that no longer bring meaning and joy to your life. Imagine all those things burning away with this paper. So for today's video, I'm not gonna actually burn this. I'm gonna do this off camera because this is a personal 
um, ritual that I like to do. And so I do need to sit and meditate on this for a little bit. But I hope this helped and I hope this gave you all a lot of good ways to celebrate the full moon, especially if it's last minute or don't feel like, you know, if you forgot that the full moon was coming up and now you don't have time to plan anything. These are a couple of ways that you can do something really simple and really fast and easy. So happy full moon to everyone, brightest blessings, and I will see you all next week. Bye.